Was the Zodiac ki- Sorry. Was the Zodiac Killer who's now likely been identified as Gary Post, was he responsible for another murder before his string of attacks in Northern California? Hello, True Crimeers. It's time for another episode of Deadly Halloween. This is the case of Sherry Joe Bates. Sherry was born on February 4th, 1948 in Omaha, Nebraska. By October of 1966, at age 18, she was living in this Riverside, California home with her family. Sherry worked part-time at Riverside National Bank, and she also attended Riverside City College. On the night of October 30th, 1966, Sherry went to her school's library. It's believed she left her home around 5 p.m. Later that evening, when her father got home, he noticed this exact note uh, pinned to their refrigerator. Witnesses would state they saw Sherry getting to the library around 6.15 that evening. It's confirmed she checked out three books. It's kind of hard to tell, but you can see the three books sitting on the passenger side seat of her vehicle. Now, the timeline is very disputed here. The library closed at 9 p.m., and there was a witness that said they think they saw her there until the library closed. But most other people who were in the library cannot say that they actually saw her in the library at any point that evening. And a lot of the people who were in the library at the time knew Sherry very well. The only thing that's known for sure is she got there around 6.15, and shortly after she checked out her books, she left the library to put her books in her car. Her car would be found still parked in the library's parking lot. This is a crime scene photo of her exact vehicle. Sherry never returned home that evening. Her father, at home, got very worried. By 5.48 the following morning, he reported his daughter missing. Sadly, the next morning, Halloween morning, 1966, Sherry's body would be found lying face down on a gravel path between two vacant homes that were purchased by the uh, college. You can see a close-up image of her body online, but this little line right there is her. They found a broken Rolex watch found about 10 feet away from her that did not belong to her, which is th that image right there. The autopsy showed she was repeatedly kicked in the head. She had cuts on her faces and she was stabbed at least twice in the chest. And then her throat, her jugular vein, was sliced. If you want to pause and read this letter, go for it, but it might be hard to read. But this confession letter was sent to the police about a month after her murder. The police and her family also received this handwritten note. The bottom of that note had what looked like a Z as a signature. This is a few years before the Zodiac killings happened up north in California. A possible suspect was a man named Ross Sullivan. He worked at the library, but he was never arrested. The theories this could have been Zodiac's test case before he moved up the San Francisco area and began his spree. Sherry's killer taunted police. We all know Zodiac did the same thing. Riverside police does not see him as the killer, and this case is still unsolved. 